Hello everyone, got the gamer skills back here with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Today I wanted to play the game again, so uh, let's do it. Make sure you smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and let's begin the game. Ever the end is never the end is never the end is loading never nev. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this for you guys. Okay, so let's go. We don't care about that. So we're back in the game. So we're gonna look for secrets. Okay. It seems like something. Wait, what did I? I meant to click settings, not begin the game again. Okay. My mouse is really laggy right now. Yeah, it's definitely not the field of view. Audio. I'm gonna turn the music volume down a bit. So that's better. Seems kind of normal. Let's go back and re resume the game. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go I to the meeting I want to see room. some new Perhaps content. Mr. Memo. This is like... Oh! New oh. content. New content? What does that mean? New content. It means the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe is finally going to get in. I've been playing the same game for like how long has it been? Since I started, I guess. Oh, that was quick. I was gonna skip it again. I was going to edit it out again, but I guess I Hello, don't have to. And thank you for playing the Hello, Stanley and thank you for playing Stanley Ultra Parable. Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Oh uh, yes. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded in 2022 with the Stanley Parable that Ultra like a Deluxe, duck. a reimagining of the game the for Stanley Parable and Ultra computer. Deluxe. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please. Step inside and Please. see what oh thrilling new God, adventures I'm await excited. in the Stanley Parable. I want to see this Ultra new Deluxe. content. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. I'm excited, too. Let's get in the okay, ele so elevator. Far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's oh just God, the beginning this, of a this, mesmerizing um, adventure. Narrator's not patient, is he? This guy's funny, um, though. Is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere? Should the elevator. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, All right, finally, oh, at moving. long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's the do it. The quality of the elevator is not that good. Looks like a lot of people have been here. Hmm. And hmm. have kind of scratched it. I have to it. say, initial impressions probably, of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. A lot of people in this elevator are just saying. It's as if the... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the Ooh, content. I'm excited. Stanley. I'm actually excited. Let's get in the jump circle. All right. All right. Let's see. It's I'm not doing that. That's not exciting. Circle? Fine. Press space to jump. Okay. I can jump. I can jump in the Stanley Parable. Yeah, because you actually can't jump in the Stanley Parable. Do I literally have to jump? Okay, I'm gonna just jump, jump, jump. Sorry if this um this sound sounds annoying to you. I'm gonna try and keep it as quiet as I can. Okay, I'm out of here. What the hell? Is is that it? No, that's sure, not it. That's There's not more. The There's content. more. There has to be There's something more, else. I know it. There has to be more new Another content. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, 
initial impressions of this game are not positive. Oh my gosh, this narrator is just not, in, is not patient. I haven't even checked content. out all the new content, new content yet. And I could it's just, just read the, the jump circle dictionary. I just There's 20 out. hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if. Oh, wait. Oh, There's yes, more. finally, the narrator is kind of yeah. quiet. I knew there had to be something else. Ooh, this Let's looks see nice. I'm I think this has is. a lot of new content. What? Thank you for enjoying. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding no. me, you see, Stanley? This is what happens no. when greedy video game developers no, I was with actually no respect excited. for their fan base no, that, uh, rush a cheap there's expansion be more to market and I know, no it's reason a, like every game has this where they're like, thank you for doing the new content, and then a bunch fact, of new content right spawns in. Achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. No, it could no never have lived content. up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No, don't about. reset the game. I'm no waiting frills, for the new content. No it's going to come, I know. Just you and me. Having a great time together, like always. What if I rip this page? Say, maybe the new content. Maybe this is actually up. No! I was enjoying that. Actually, I wasn't. I wanted the new content. And that, it was just a jump circle. And then, a uh, board, that's it. That, that was it. But no, there's going to be more new content. When the game resets, we're going to be, like, in a... Uh, in a, a locked away in a ultra deluxe burger shop or something. Something's gonna happen. Something. C fingers crossed. I'm gonna skip this part. I actually, I, I just as I said that. Okay. Yeah, I told you. Wait, this is not a burger shop. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Whenever I think of deluxe, I think of burger shops. It's just, it's the OG Stanley Parable. What is, is this Stanley's computer? And a mug. I hate Mondays. Mondays. This, this door doesn't open. Event! St Stanley! Is the narrator in here. there? In the vent! Okay, no, I want the to show you something! Oh well. I wish crouching. It's another. Uh, I d what the what did what did he say? Okay, load quick, please. I don't want to wait here all day. See, I told you there was going to be okay. more new content. Do you remember how the cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me this thinking is the about ultra the deluxe content. And how much better Literally, the Stanley I'm not Parable used to be. So I made something oh! special. And tucked it away here and my the game's, game's suddenly lagging it. like crazy. Just our Thank you, narrator. Secret. Take a look. No, it's actually... The narrator did it this. The memory He's making zone. my game lag. It's where I've been the storing sensitivity all now my feels favorite like it's memories. So I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever the I memory. want. Experiences like the launch of the oh. Stanley Parable on PC. Uh, you see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley, Stanley Parable was released. before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. This guy oh, loves the waste. Stanley Parable. This guy loves... Well, this is literally just the Stanley Parable with the new content in it. So, uh, why do you why do you miss the old Stanley Parable? I'm enjoying this. That's still in the game. I I don't know what this narrator's talking about. The original Stanley Parable didn't have all this new stuff in it, and this is literally just the old game with the new stuff. So this is I'm more than happy to play this. Though they could vacuum this carpet a bit. Smile because it happened. Don't cry because it, um, it's gone. Smile because it happened. Okay, is that the, the Stan, the Stanley Parable 
demonstration. What the hell? What is this? In loving memory of little Stanley? It's a hamster. What? That's not Stanley. What? A bench. Ooh. You're not gonna let me sit on the bench. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'll enter. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. Oh, I like 10 out of 10 place. from Destructoid.com. James Ooh. Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, uh, can I put out the We're so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any it's form really of art. Perfect. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk. Yep, you're right. It's not the Stanley Parable anymore. Content. It's the sta- oh. It would have been cool if I stepped onto the- It's the Stanley Parable also. The original remake. What's down here? I mean, okay, I cannot go there. Let me in! <clears throat> okay, fine. I'll go visit. Why does this Here's actually... another moving passage, this time from GameSpot. Oh, I thought this was a staircase. The Stanley Parable well, this is both looks like a, a richly staircase. stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've okay, ever well, been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you Can get I it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed Actually, to be left didn't alone, have any new to content, spend the rest of time collecting dust in now. the hallowed hall this is of an beloved amazing game. video game memories. Just open the doors already. I wish this was a staircase. I can walk up and look through the window. <sighs> These were simpler times, Stanley. Finally. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all oh. over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video Steam game distributor. Reviews. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down that here. Really looks like Surely these place. reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? What's been going on here? Steam reviews. Not recommended. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. Oh my I'm trying to make God. a serious work of art. I suppose that I can landed right on my head. Gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such well, a dense web of profound to philosophical again. insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Ooh, what new content is behind this? It's nothing. It's just plastic and garbage. Oh, I'm supposed to come here. Okay, never mind. There's new content to be found. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You wouldn't tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light what and airy it? as it... Well, hey, it's... 
but maybe it was I want to read that. That's yeah. a good review what about the game. Narrator, look at this. Read this. Marks on my read it. Unimpeachable track record. Mm, I'm I stepping on it too. Like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable Ooh, this, isn't quite as sterling this as This game actually remember. looks really good now. Oh. Am I doing something wrong? Am I supposed to go there? This game is too hard. Reviews. Oh, I go to here. And here's What's another. This one got to say? You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can Sinking do that. Away. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Barrett. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. A customer. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun and in. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue okay. full of unnecessary verbal okay. flourishes and lengthy on ruminations on, on the over. nature of choice in video games. Of course, oh, there it is. I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more I'm profound such. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, oh, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? Okay, let's it's see the next one then. Stanley, Stanley, st okay. Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12, 12 hours. hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no well, way out bad. of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've oh, checked what? every one of those walls a thousand times. The door's and gone? there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. Well, if there's no door, it, I, I guess I'll no just idea. sit here. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, oh, my I, God. I think it's been a week. For well, two weeks? I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? So Me uh, what just should I talking. do now? But it isn't Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed should to I? know that someone was listening. I'm realizing I that. It to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel what? I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every brunching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe, if you, you know can what? hear me, 
Then make Get a baby. Me. Wait, what oh, have I done? Hello, it's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months, I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity, for what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation for me. It was unlike anything I had ever known. It was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. It was divorced entirely from the question of free will that you and I have squabbled over for so long. There could be no one ending, no singular outcome of events, not if all events existed in the same moment. And I felt freed. I felt unburdened by the need to manifest a particular outcome into being. I saw that I could allow myself to exist along all timelines, and that each of them was simply a strand in the web of my being. It was incredible. The spaciousness. Should the I just press it again? The Hello? Narrator? Has it been that long? What happened? But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, first, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. So here's what we get. We get these demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get this a world where someone will say, oh, there should be a skip button. You should be able to freeze Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We want all of this in the new Stanley parable. We demand it. And then, because it was said, because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. The most immediate desires, every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes! It seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems that we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves that our entertainment is now our lives. It has come to represent us. It absolutely must speak to who we are as people. Because otherwise, without our entertainment, we have nothing. Without entertainment, we would have to face inward toward the cruel bleakness inside ourselves. We would turn to look at our deeper nature and find a resounding emptiness gazing back with unyielding aggression. And so, so because of this, we require that our amusements and our playthings and our flights of fancy be so impossibly captivating that they consume all of our attention, turn our heads completely away from the bleakness. In effect, we have demanded that our entertainment be the collapse of ourselves. What a pitiful reflection of humanity these entertainments are. What a shameful mirror to the human spirit they project. I'm not mad. The 
the end is never 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 the end is
Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Okay. So there's actually a lot of new content, I guess. Okay. Okay, we're back. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. This is the you ultra deluxe version. Uh, deluxe version. And any I think new content um, for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step oh even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. What? So it's that way. Yes, you the see, end isn't is this far never superior the end to a again. measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully okay. fledged sequel. An entirely Ooh, new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Investor showcase. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, so now that's an artistic statement. This is my right favorite there. um it's future place in Stanley it Parable Ultra Deluxe. And innovation and long-term franchising potential. Narrator, you actually did a good job on this. Oh. He used Google Slides to make it. Where's that? I forgot what that Google thing was called. I think it was called slides. Ooh, nice cups. New mug. Okay. Is that a popcorn? Oh, never mind. It's a shoe thing. But there are no shoes in it, so I don't know if it's a shoe thing. Where do I go from here? They're back. Two doors. Stanley Parable 2. Okay, that door is not going to open. Now, to be clear, oh, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring forth. up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Okay, then. Oh, never mind. New features? Show us the new features! Oh, it, I thought it was blocked off. Let's go! Here we are! Go on, try out some of the new features. What, what new features? Can I jump? Merch? Is this actual merch? Okay. What new features are there? Narrator. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Okay. So with that in mind, sorry, I should have well, clarified. I'll, I'll be right surprised now, if it actually the button says only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, 
Let's have you roleplay as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget who the you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right no, now? No, I'm not. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Well, I'm not, so I guess I will press it. Fine. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see? What a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. Jim. Ooh. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Okay. Too big, too small, just right. So this is like a button place, I guess. Door, 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 door. I tried out every door I see. Never mind. Ooh, this game is looking clean. I suppose I could allow clean. only people okay. named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would so actually save me the work of finishing the feature. So we've done the button feature. that says Jim. What else is there? Collectibles. Okay. So let's see these collectibles. Is it actually collectibles? Yeah. I can't get onto the stairs. Ah, Ooh. collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching Wait. the number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. What is it? I think it's Stanley. Collect them all. Okay. God, it really it. is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. No screenshots. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? I like this one. But I'm but I don't think he'll know. Wait, am I stuck in this room now? Go with this one. Um, I can't get out. Oh. Happy 12th birthday. Oh, no mind. What is this? You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece, it is. Ooh. Wait, but I press. Oh. Okay, so what do I do? Guess I'm just gonna go. Oh, actually, oh I didn't remember. Maybe I should have gone with. Yet. No. You know, no, I've, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Okay. 
So we did that, we did that. What is that? I don't think. The button that says already looked at that, merch, I already looked at that. Let's go up here. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical that it engendered too. a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Okay. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, what don't do I they? Do with this bucket? All can this I and more that? await you in the Stanley Parable too. Okay, I guess I'm keeping the bucket. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Oh, I'm gonna get an award? Oh well, it's not an award, so... The jump circle. You know what? Kidding. Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's oh wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm, oh well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. Okay, the bucket can jump. I guess he's jumping. Okay. New, three new and easy achievements. Get it here. Okay. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding okay. this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Okay, let me through. Let me through. Okay. Give me another achievement, I guess. Okay. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? What 
is this? Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. See, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Hey. Let's go. Let's go. What else is there? Puff hell. Whatever that is, whatever that is, whatever that is. New free and easy achievement. I already did that. Jump circle. I already did that. But I haven't gone up these stairs yet. Setting world champions. Settings world champions. Okay, a Okay, what uh, what else is there then? Collectibles did that. Seems to be it. Okay, what else is there? Enjoy a new feature. Wait, there's more stuff here. There's more stuff here. Nope. Did that already. Cannot go through there. We cannot exit. You know, I've been going for a while. And, uh... I cannot find anything else. Seems like that's it. Is that it, narrator? Just keeps going. Wait, is that the infinite hole? Yep, same thing. Did that. Looks like I've done everything. Is there anything else to really do? Should I just quit to the menu? Let's do that. That was really fun though. I really like the new update. Let's begin the game. Ever the end is never the end is never the end is loading Nev. Alright. Let's see here. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided yes, to go to the meeting room. Mean? Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. New content already went there. When Stanley came to a set of two open yep, doors, I know. he entered the door on his left. I know exactly what we're doing. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a yes. wave of disbelief, the Stanley decided... Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. 
Okay. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. That makes it a reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Yep. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. You do uh, realize I there's no to. choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom Wait, closet a... ending was my favorite. Yep, the broom closet ending was my favorite. Concerning. Well, uh, everyone seems to be happy that I found the super secret Stanley broom was fat and ugly and really, ending. really stupid. So why should got just the job keep because on of a family doing connection. It, That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. You say well, that you can barely see Stanley's about feet. What's going on right now? You're dead. You got to this broom closet, except by, so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone Not who happens dead. to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen no, to I'm any not. Number of your countless human physiological okay, you're just going it's to. Indicative of the long term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on well, I'm enjoying this super right. secret broom closet. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Okay. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Okay. You too? Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps I there's a monkey go nearby you can hand the controls to. The fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Okay. Okay, fine. I'm going. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Um... Executive bathroom. Let me go. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisps. Okay, cool. Cannot open that. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of yes, any I'm human stunned. life. Wow, there's nothing. Indication. Stanley wondered in disbelief they all drank who their orchestrated milk and now they're this, what dark here. secret was being held from him. They, what he they could they not have known to me. was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yeah. I cannot possibly know that code.
Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input yeah, anything on the device which uses, since thumbs, he could never possibly point. know that the combination was two eight yep, four I don't, five. I would never know the code is two eight four five. I could not possibly know that, so why would I put it? Four, five. Yeah, sure. If I ever knew it, I probably would put it in. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override oh. kicked in, <laughs> and the door just okay, opened. Okay, looks all like by mm, the narrator got the hell along with the story. Well, what did you get? Too annoyed sometimes. Okay, let's go. Well, that was good that the random thing kicked in, because of course I could never possibly know the code. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered okay, for long. Let's go. That looks weird. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yes, Gabby, nope. I'm going to follow what I shall do. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television oh. screens. What horrible That's secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true oh, nature I I revealed. To fall Each here. bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. Okay, the I'm lives of so many years. individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally yeah, monitored in this place years. where freedom meant nothing. Employee fired. Let's get going. Let's get going. This mind control facility employee pirate? Too what? horrible to believe. It couldn't that be That literally true. says employee Had pirate really there. What? Someone's control That's all weird. this time. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions <laughs> had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. If you look up he there, it says employee pirate. He couldn't look at that, employee pirate. His own life in Why? Else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire okay. life utterly blind to the world? Something's happening. And I shall But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Ah, Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. Mm -hmm. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Okay, what's down there? And as the cold no reality of his what's past began to sink in, mind control, whatever that says, would never idol. again exert its terrible power over another and put away. Life, for he would dismantle Just the controls control. once and for all. So he's telling me to turn it off. Now I'm going to turn it on. It's fine. Oh, Yes, you I just did. Just activate the controls, did it's you? Fine. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley. What? I, applaud I must have I really done do. something but in you the need system to wrong. There's only because so it's much definitely that not even meant to explode you were into me. To let it go. Turn the but I would never off know that. And leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. 
I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you I didn't try to throw your story of Jack, I just thought it would be funny to press. Stanley well. suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators uh, don't worry, I can just turn it off. Eliminating Everything's the okay, complex. guys. How long until detonation then? Eh. Uh, Let's say, um, nope, nope, two minutes. nope, nope. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? I can't turn it's it off. It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better well, than what the I had going down, so I better run. We have so little time well, left to there's enjoy nothing it. I can really Mere do. moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? You kidding? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. You erased them? Was merely you're in a this monster. Of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this though, oh, this version of events has been should rather save me. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious oh, additional you. seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear oh, me, man. what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running well, from button like to button, screen to screen, fireworks. clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here Why, will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this I'm video sure game wait. can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made ah, Stanley, so scared. This is not a what challenge. What should I do? It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. So Wait, this is going to destroy the world? Take a look at the oh. clock, Stanley. Oh, That's so it's like saying you have left someone has a pen. Thirty seconds until and a you big want boom the pen, so they break it, no so you can't it. have it, Just so you're going to destroy the world, so I can't take it over. Life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment oh. I say happily okay, ever. Okay, too late. The end is never the end. Alright guys, I'm going to stop right there. This was probably the biggest video of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe that we're ever doing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash like button, smash the subscribe button. Um, until next time.